Hello, Wellness Warriors. Welcome to another episode of Wellness Warrior. Um, so happy Monday. I'm super excited to be doing this video. Let's uh let's start with just a little mindfulness. Let's regroup, bring yourself back, um, and just ground yourself. So close your eyes. Make sure both feet are on the ground. Take a deep breath in and let it out. And as you continue to focus on your breath, ask yourself what you want to manifest this week. Whatever that is, there's no wrong answer. Just focus on that. Asking yourself what it is you want to see happen. And just vision yourself. Envision yourself doing this and making it happen. Take another deep breath in. Let it out. Bring yourself back to this place and just make yourself be right here in this moment. Give yourself the purpose to be fully engaged as you watch this video and are just right there with yourself. One last deep breath before we come back. Let it out. Okay. All right, Wellness Warriors. Well, welcome. I'm super excited that you're here. Um, so today's topic, man, it's, it's such a hard topic because most people get very defensive about this topic and they do not know when they're in the situation until someone brings it up to them. And even then, they will, of course, become defensive. Um, so it's something that only you can figure out and that only you can know. So today's topic is being in a toxic relationship. And so let me make this clear. There are different ways of abuse. Like it's not just physical abuse. Like, oh, someone is beating beating this person, you know, like, oh, they, they beat their partner. They can also beat you with their words. And emotional, verbal, psychological abuse is is very serious. And not because it doesn't leave scars or bruises that are visible means that it's not there. And a lot of the times people don't see this abuse because they they're so enmeshed in it and they're they're codependent with their partner and they don't know better and they saw that in their house so they don't really know that this is happening one of the things that I said to someone the other day was she called me and she said you know this this friend kind of stopped talking to me after I pointed out that she was in this unhealthy relationship and I said well most women and I'm gonna say women a lot because I have worked with women who have been abused for years so men are also abused okay so let me make that clear um but it is a larger population when it comes to women who are abused or are in abusive relationships and it's interesting because when someone else brings it up the woman will the part the person being abused will back away because they have to choose because now you're a threat to this relationship or that partner will make sure that you're not part of that person's life because again you're a threat mm. it's unfortunate but it is a pattern and we we don't even know we're in these relationships but there are several questions you have to ask yourself and one of the questions that I always ask my clients is, do you fear your partner? Do you fear their responses? And not because they're gonna hit you, right? Right now we're talking about just being in a toxic relationship with emotional abuse. Do you fear sometimes the, the reaction they're going to have or their, their um, just different responses because of something you said or something you did? Do you feel like you have to walk on eggshells? Another of my questions is when they, they bring up, you know, well, he doesn't hit me and well, 
Is he emotionally available for you? Because neglect is also a form of abuse. Is he or she emotionally available for you? Are they the light of the street, but a darkness in their home? Because let me tell you something. When people are light in the street and a darkness in their home, that house will implode. It will. So you have to really be careful where you're noticing where's that energy going from your partner. Is your partner like investing their energy outside of the home instead of inside? Is your partner building you? I always tell people, do you feel your partner makes you a better person? Like you always need to work with goals. Like when you meet, what are your goals? You know, like you have your partner's goals, you have your goals, you have goals together. Do they help you build on those goals? Like, are you a better person ever since you're with your partner? Have you grown? Does that person help you grow? Have they helped you flourish or do they hold you back? Do they put you first? Or is anybody else first in their life? Because when you decide to make a partnership, it's like marriage, right? When you decide to marry someone, what do you say? You vow to choose them above anybody else, right? And this is for her healthy relationships. But if they're not choosing you and you're choosing them and you're always giving and giving and giving and that person is not investing their time in you and they are emotionally available for other people, okay, but they're not really emotionally available for you or they give you the leftovers, guess what? That is a toxic relationship. You are not in a healthy relationship, whether it's a marriage or a partnership. But at the end of the day, it is not being invested um, equally. And so that is super important to know that you are that person's priority and that you are worth of investing because you are. You are worth the investment. You deserve that. You cannot always give. And I always ask that with the women I work with. Does your partner make you a better person? Do they lift you up? You know, are they are they are you a better person ever since you've met them? And you know, that is part of our responsibility when when we're with someone to help them grow and help them flourish and and vice versa i can honestly say i'm a million times better as a person ever since i met my husband he has helped me done a lot of healing as i have with him and we have both grown in every aspect of our lives because of each other and we have done it hand by hand and it's important to recognize when that is not happening in a relationship it's important when a lot of people think that is love keeps our relationship but it's not it's respect it's emotional availability it is awareness and it's not just communication it is being able to communicate and then the action of it because people can communicate all day long but then if the other person is stonewalling or if they're actually just ignoring you and they think you're just nagging then that relationship is not going to grow flourish or continue you're not gonna there will be no growth in that relationship because you cannot be yourself or expect them to get anywhere i don't know how many of my clients tell me i want us to go to couples therapy and the partner doesn't even try that they they refuse to do that so it is up to they tell them well i think you need to go so they need to do the work and they're going to continue to grow but the partner's not willing to do that let me tell you something gentlemen ladies if you are growing and your partner stays here there is no way that that relationship is going to flourish that is going to grow that is going to keep you happy mentally spiritually physically emotionally you're going to start wondering someplace else or you're going to be resentful and you're not going to want to be with that person anymore or you're going to completely disconnect and that is that is just a fact it will eventually happen because you will wake up one day and the worst part of it is is Every time I've worked with women and they've been in emotional, emotionally abusive relationships, they don't really see this until years later when they finally are like, oh my gosh, like bam. And then they're like, I'm going to take myself out of the clearance rack. You know, they, they, they up their standards and women are like 50 and 60, sometimes 70. And they're like, Olinka. And I'm like, uh-huh. They're like, I gave this person the best years of my life. And now what? They're like, now I don't even know who I am. I need to find myself. And they're, or when they start putting healthy boundaries around later on in life, and then their partner is like, whoa, like, why are you putting those boundaries? Well, of course, they're not benefiting from that anymore, right? Anybody who gets upset with you because you put healthy boundaries, they're benefiting you. They're benefiting from your lack of boundaries. They do not deserve to be in your life. That relationship is not okay. I just forgot to feed my fishes. Oh my gosh, I have to feed them. Anyway, sorry. Um, if that person makes you feel like you're not worthy, 
and they make unkind comments to you, whether it's in public or in private, that is toxic too. They should not be making you feel less than. They should not be making you feel like there's something wrong with you. They sh they, it should not be a competition in any way. They should not make you feel like you are not at their level and you need to step it up or that you're not as beautiful or that you're not wanted anymore. And that is that is huge. When If they're attacking the way you look physically, many people gain weight throughout the years. Uh, I have heard men tell their wives how they're not attractive anymore, how they rather look the other, like look at someone else, how they need to lose weight in order to have more value like they used to. All those things are emotional abuse. All those things are are hurtful words that no one deserves to go through. No one deserves to to be in that kind of relationship. So, so this is just a small video on on red flags on emotional abuse of course there is a lot much more that we could discuss but i just wanted to throw that out there remember that you are the only one who can give yourself the love you deserve and then when you are in a healthy place then you can transmit that to your relationships but don't let anybody treat you less than what you are get yourself out of the clearance rack put yourself where you belong you are worthy whether you're a male or a female whatever you are you are worthy of love respect emotionally awareness when that partner good communication skills and having that person receive the communication and the feedback and then do something about it okay you're awesome guys thank you for watching i appreciate all the love and support hope you have an awesome week sending loving kindness your way bye